St. James's Park. The commentator's Ken Wollstenholme. The pictures come from Tyne T's television. Newcastle are in the stripes. Hold on to your seats. Father holding McDonald. Well, this is a habit McDonald's got into now of applauding every time a free kick is given to him. I think he might get himself into a spot of bother with one or two referees. Tommy Craig with the free kick. I suppose there's an own goal, but we'll give it to Tommy Craig, and that is Newcastle's 50th goal of the season. The free kick floated across. Bender going for it, I think, got a touch. Knocked it out of Garlick's reach, and also knocked it out of Mosley's reach. And so after 26 minutes, it's one goal to nil. Burns breaking very quickly. He got the throw, but it's given to United. That's just a gallery. And Nolte, 2-0. Taylor May. The great appeal by Derby, but they thought that the going should have been there, so McFarland's going to a field. But when that ball came to Gowling, he measured his cross absolutely perfectly, and there was Nolte behind the defender, a perfect chance to pick his spot, head the ball in. How did Kennedy covering him? How did Marshall's defense so well, now lead with the throw. There, to James. Splendid header by Powell coming behind the defender, makes it 2 1. And that ball came across. Dalty was waiting to hit it clear. And Stevie Powell, the midfield player wearing number seven, coming behind the defender, there to knock the ball into the net in almost absolute, complete silence. Facing him, Todd in reserve, and here comes Gray, the penalty. Yes, no doubt. And no doubt about it, the leg was put right across Gray. So it's a penalty to United. Penalty, and here comes Tommy Gray. about that penalty kick superbly taken by Tommy Craig. Number four is Ryuk. George. The 12 Davis. Porter. Keely, the man giving the corner away. Certainly Keely has taken his comeback chance well. Gevel, the man taking the corner. And that's a goal by George. And the corner going right across me. Headed back by McFarlane. And Charlie George right on the goal line. Jumping up and nodding the ball down for Derby's second goal. And it's 3-2. Davis, finding James, and again the inevitable Derby attack starts. Powell to Nish. Now Gevel. And it's there! It's Rhea who put it in. And so Derby have completed a tremendous comeback. And as the ball came across, it seemed as if the Castle defence could get it away. But they didn't, The Bruce Ring was the man who knocked it in. And so, with six minutes to go.
It's three goals each. Everybody appealing, and the referee is given the board again. And Pili up in attack. Go. Tommy Craig. And a ball! And the Canada defense standing still as Craig floats one of those cheeky ones in. And there he is at long last, Superman, to put the ball in the back of the net. And it's 4 3. That's just to Kennedy. And a wonderful run from Kennedy to McDonald. Gowling in the middle. There's Gowling! Oh, it's straight at the goalkeeper. Almost incredible that could happen. what a finish we could easily have had nine goals in that one